Hello everyone, welcome back to the Beverage Review. I'm your host, Michael Lamb, and your drinking pal. And um, tonight I'm going to taste an Australian wine uh, with you. And this is um, the Marquise Phillips. Uh, it's the 2004 Sarah's Blend. Now, the winemakers of Marquise Phillips are Sarah and Sparky Marquise and they have a joint project with Dan Phillips which is an importer uh, from the USA and uh, this wine has been around for a couple of years I think the first vintage uh, correct me if I'm wrong probably is from the 2002 vintage and Sarah's blend is a Bordeaux blend and uh, I know this is uh, probably going to be a really good one I put it into my little decanter uh, because the wine was just open tonight and it's a little bit young and uh, I did have a sip before filming and I tell you I like this wine very much very much that is if you like the new world style full blown Australian wine even when I'm pouring it I could I could smell the wine profoundly and uh, the nose give me an excitement. I, I wish you can see my little goose pimples. This is a kind of a new world style wine that I I love, and it's a complete value under twenty dollars for Canadian, including tax. So I mean, you can beat that in BC, huh? And <sighs> bigger glass tonight. Cassis, cassis, uh, black plums. Um, lots of kind of Ribena character um, at Maynard, uh, you know the British Maynard uh, wine gum? It's right there some dark chocolate a hint of um, eucalyptus and just slight mintiness in, in the background lots of ripe mulberry um, very juicy wine, lots and lots of death. Um, I don't want to spit this wine because it's so good. For twenty dollars, I think it's a steal. Very upfront, full blown, just a tad of alcohol. That it, like a like a li little residual alcohol. What? Yeah, it's running at fifteen percent alcohol. That's why. But all in all, it's just good. The tannin is smooth, the mouthfeel is good, everything is fine. I think this is a big steal, a winner. Buy this wine, please. Mm.